Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Laith and you might know me from a YouTube channel called The Social Streamers, where we make a wide variety of grand strategy content. Today, it's my pleasure to be collaborating with Pirates Interactive on a series of five videos to show you the new features of the No Step Back expansion for Hearts of Iron 4. In this first video, we're going to be focusing on tanks, more specifically the tank designer. This feature takes the ethos of the ship designer, but improves upon it, giving you the flexibility to adapt to the situation facing you. The three core aspects of a tank's design are mobility, firepower and armour, forming a sort of rock, paper, scissors when used tactically. But late, I hear you cry. I want to make a tank that does damage, dashes into battle and doesn't get destroyed. Well, with the tank designer this is possible, but you run into two other key factors to consider. That of cost and reliability. If the Germans have seized much of your industry, a tractor with a gun strapped to it is a lot more useful than a brilliant design that you just simply don't have the resources for. So, with this in mind, let me take you through how to build your tank. First of all, we have the chassis. Here we have the first decision you need to make that sets up the rest of the design. After picking an appropriate chassis, you can then move on to selecting the armor that you'd like to see on your tank. There are three types of armor. Riveted, welded, and cast. These represent the sorts of decisions you'll have to make going forwards, with cast armor being the most durable but also the most expensive, riveted armor being the weakest. And, and that is exactly the armor Dankus Mimikus will put on his heavy tanks in Russia. Fist, and welded representing a middle ground. Previously, you could increase the armor rating and create a variant. This system is similar, but now with 20 levels of armor available. You may add up to 5 levels of armor at the start of the game, with the others able to be researched. Trend, Hopefully now you have an idea of the trade-offs that must be contemplated. This is a running theme with this designer, as can be further seen with the engines. You have your standard diesel versus gasoline engine, both with their drawbacks and benefits. No, but if you'd like to be faster. environmentally conscious when turning back the hordes of enemies invading your lands, you can also opt for Petroleum, electric engine, gasoline engine, diesel engine, and gas and turbine. Engine. The final core component without which this is just a mobile bucket is, of course, this is his main armament, the flamethrower, medium heavy, small and super heavy armaments. Main gun. This determines the type of enemy this tank is designed to fight. Is this meant to cut down human targets with a maximized soft attack? Wow, cool. Or a machine more suited to tougher opponents? Now we have the fundamentals, we can start the to like a jet design engine. as a whole and add the bells and whistles. At the top here, you can add additional modules. For example, I could have a flamethrower as my main gun and then- Wait, 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 what, what did that do to flamethrower? Wait. you can add additional modules. For example, I could have a- you get, uh, you get more soft attack. Okay, very basic. You get soft attack but lose reliability. Okay. Flamethrower is my main gun, and then line. But only five percent soft attack. That seems. My tank with a bunch of additional 5%? machine guns. Well, you can probably do four flamethrowers and have a fucking hell tank or some is shit. It practical? Please read my message, Tommy's girlfriend. Jesus Christ. Bestell was du willst. Ich geh. Oh ja, gleich. No. Warte, mach ich. Is it possible? Yes. And personally, that's what I feel is important here. I'm going to take a second to remind you that the core aim of this feature is flexibility. It offers the ability to change designs and deploy different tanks. The problem is, if we're being honest, man, one sec, I, I got the order to order food. After two months, there will be meta tanks. There will be a light tank that shits on infantry. There will be a heavy tank that shits on everything. And it's that's it. Different purposes. I think and the I, I hope it doesn't happen. He said, I wish I had what? enough time Udon to take soup with tofu. One, but yeah. let me pick my favorites. Udon First, soup we have the tofu. amphibious drive module. Note how it allows the amphibious role. Obviously, you can't have an amphibious vehicle that isn't actually amphibious. I don't even so see if you want a tank to fill a certain niche, it has to be designed for it and not shoot them in. Things like easy maintenance and wet ammunition storage help with reliability. It's all well and good having metal death cavalry, but they're a bit useless if they don't actually function half the time. Note here that the extra reliability with the storage comes with the price tag of increased production. If you're looking to have an impenetrable creature, then small bonuses to entrenchment and armor from those of blades and armor spells come uh, yeah, 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 yeah. After all, the you can just use the module slots for extra yeah, 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 yeah. Where's armor? 16, cool okay. This. That's you a light tank. You can have a tank core that is as fast Good. as possible. Designed to exp... Oh, Lisa, Boy wait one second, Lisa. You're giving me ADHD, man. Jesus. Jesus. ...railway guns and treads. This offers more tactical options than was previously possible when you were just limited to heavy tanks, medium tanks, and light tanks. Tank is strong However, for those of you who find this a bit overwhelming, or aren't as keen as I am to get stuck in and see if I can attach four radios to one tank, then you can always select this option down Auto here. Design, this uh, generates a design that the AI uses to fit the designated role, uh, saving you the effort of making your own design. Moreover, you can check this box here to automatically upgrade to the latest components researched. Uh, Thank you all for watching. That makes sense. Yeah, Only sure. next time as I look into the- Fuck man, the tank design is gonna be so fucking insane, dude. Tank designing is going to be crazy. 